If something is easy to repair, then it's easy to construct. The simple but revealing words of a man responsible for arguably the most iconic guitar on the face of the earth, the Fender Stratocaster. Sam here, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all keeping well. In today's video I'm going to be talking about why, at least in my opinion, the Stratocaster is the greatest guitar ever made. As always guys, if you do enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out because it allows me to continue making videos, continue doing what I love, and fundamentally hopefully provide you with some content that you find interesting. Now with that being said, let's get back into the video, I hope you guys enjoy. So first, a little bit of history. In the spring of 1954, after years of development, the Fender Stratocaster was released into the US market, becoming their flagship model alongside their much simpler, less refined Telecaster. At that time, the model cost $249, um, which doesn't sound like that much, but when you've adjusted for inflation, that's almost three grand in today's money, so it really was a top of the range instrument at the time. The Stratocaster saw a number of substantial upgrades from its predecessor a sophisticated tremolo, a contoured body that was considerably more comfortable to play, and arguably most significantly, its three pickup single coil design. Since its release, it's become the primary axe for just a ridiculous amount of guitarists. The likes of Hendrix, David Gilmour, Steve Ray Vaughan, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, John Frusciante, I mean the list just goes on and on and on and on. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to be talking about why I, and I think probably a lot of the people I've just mentioned on that list, decide to play and pick up the Stratocaster almost every single day. So firstly, and most importantly, I suppose it's tone. The Strat has an incredibly distinctive sound, whilst also managing to remain incredibly versatile. Its five-way pickup selector provides a wide variety of tonal options that ensures you'll always be able to find the tone that you need. The single coils found on the Strat are low output in comparison to a typical humbucker or a P90 that you might find on a Gibson Les Paul, for example. This gives the instrument a really beautiful, chimey, uncompressed tone. By uncompressed, I mean that the pickups are incredibly dynamically responsive. Basically, the difference between playing quietly and loudly is very pronounced. With a bit of a risk of sounding pretentious, I find that this makes the experience of playing the instrument very intimate and expressive. It voices the minute subtleties in your playing and lets the listener hear precisely what the artist intended. And personally, I always find playing the guitar a very secular process, in the sense that if I feel the guitar is responding and sounding exactly how I want it to, it inspires me more and makes me play better. Now obviously this is subjective, but to me, the Stratocaster has this in abundance. Okay, so pretentious section over, and now on to another reason why Leo Fender really hit the dynamite with this design. Going back to the quote I used at the start of this video, if something is easy to repair, it's easy to construct. I really think the beauty of the Stratocaster comes from its simplicity. The construction is simple and reliable, so things very rarely go wrong on the guitar, but even if they were to go wrong, pretty much every single part of the instrument could be replaced in under 15 minutes. It's a working musician's dream. I mean, from a personal point of view, I've been taking apart and putting back together strats since I was about 14. At that level of experience, I would never dream of taking apart a Les Paul or a 335 style guitar. You need to be an experienced luthier to even get the neck off, but that's not the case at all with the Stratocaster. This is really great because it fundamentally gives you the ability to repair and maintain your instrument at home without needing to take it to a luthier. This of course also means that it's incredibly customizable. Its popularity and its simplicity mean that there's a massive selection of aftermarket parts that you can buy for your guitar, both made by Fender and by third parties. You can buy a new neck, you can buy new pickups, you can buy new hardware, you could even buy an entire new body if you wanted to. This is somewhat true with other designs, but the Strat's simplicity and its bolt on neck, alongside with its popularity, means that there's no other model that can get close to it in this regard. 
In fact, two of pop culture's most famous guitars, Eric Clapton's Blackie and Eddie Van Halen's Frankenstrat, were both assortments of Stratocaster parts. Another great strength of the Stratocaster is its ergonomics. A lot of the electric guitars being designed in the early 1950s had very boxy, squared off bodies that weren't particularly comfortable to play. The Telecaster is a prime example of this. This was essentially because guitar manufacturers at the time were used to designing acoustic guitars, which of course have to have big squared off bodies to maximise the size of the internal sound chamber. It wasn't until a guitarist by the name of Rex Gallion suggested to Leo Fender that a solid body guitar doesn't need to have squared off edges, that the sleek, comfortable contours of the Stratocaster were first drawn up. Some 70 years later, and the Stratocaster is still one of, if not the most comfortable guitar on the market. And it's not just the contouring that makes it comfortable. Its lightweight construction, generally consisting of a maple neck and an older body, makes it a really popular choice for gigging musicians that play stood up for long durations. The Stratocaster comes in on average at about 3.6 kilograms, which is considerably lighter than something like a Les Paul that normally weighs in the region of about 5 to 5.5 kilograms. In fact, I actually have a Les Paul Junior, and I absolutely love the way it sounds, I love the way it plays, but it's just so cumbersome and heavy. And despite how great it sounds, I would almost always pick up a Strat instead of my Les Paul in any situation where I have to stand up for a long period of time. Anyway guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. All around, I just feel like the Stratocaster is an exceptional instrument that has inspired and will continue to inspire thousands, if not millions of players. As always guys, feel free to leave a comment if you like. Do you love Stratocasters? Do you hate them? Did you like this video? <laughs> Did you hate it? Whatever your opinions are, I would really love to hear them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, look after yourself, and I'll see you in the next one.